So one thing that's happened recently, and this may not happen to you because I suspect they've updated something to fix it, but there's a possibility that when you first create a project with the universal render pipeline, it'll ask you to enter safe mode. And this is because thanks Unity, they broke the render pipeline package, they have a new package that just breaks your project and causes a bunch of console errors. The long and short of it is you want to enter safe mode. I want to say, yes, please enter safe mode um, so I can open up my project and fix it. You'll notice that there's a bunch of console errors. For the record, if this doesn't happen, that doesn't mean you did something wrong. It means they fixed it properly finally. But if they haven't fixed it yet, like they haven't for me yet, then you're going to want to make sure to open up the project in safe mode. This is what happens when there's something that like breaks in. There's like a console error. There's some kind of script that is broken. It doesn't understand what it's supposed to do. And so in order to avoid completely breaking your Unity project, it opens in safe mode. When you're in safe mode, these are the steps to fix the problem if you get this problem. So I'm going to go ahead to the package manager so I can downgrade the universal render pipeline package because the newest version that they automatically include breaks your Unity project, unfortunately. So I'm going to go to window package manager. This opens up the package manager. We'll talk about the package manager in later modules. But the important thing is you make sure that you're in packages in project in this drop down right here. You're in project. And you go to Universal RP, which stands for Universal Render Pipeline. You click on this little arrow to the left of it, and you click on See Other Versions. It automatically starts with 10.9.0, which is broken, but we are able to select 10.5.1. It says Verified next to it. It's not broken. And then you'll hit Update to 10.5.1. And once this process is done, then Unity ideally should just automatically exit safe mode because it'll solve all your console errors. I'll be right back after this thing is done just to make sure. So now that it's finally opened up Unity. For me, I had to go through exiting safe mode and updating the package and all of that. But for you, it's possible that it just kind of opened up to the screen. This is Unity. Welcome to Unity. We've got a whole bunch of windows here that we might not yet understand. But what we're going to do is kind of introduce you to what you are looking at. Now that we've downloaded Unity, in the next module, we're going to take a look at all the windows and what they do and kind of just get familiar with, with moving around this environment. See you then. Thank you for watching.